At six, we are staying on top of breaking news out of Gwinnett County. Within the last 20 minutes, crews started to move a small plane that's been blocking traffic for hours on I-985. We're told it had taken off from aircraft specialists at Briscoe Field in Lawrenceville. One of our viewers was able to snap these pictures for us, and according to Gwinnett County, the pilot took off, flew around Lake Lanier, and was returning to the airport when it had to land. Thankfully tonight, we can tell you that no one was hurt. Yeah, that is really good news. So while the shock factor is now over, a lot of people were impacted by that traffic backup at Nightmare Atlanta's traffic expert, Crash Clark, on the phone with us right now. So Crash, anyone who's trying to head to that area, what would you advise them to do? Yeah, we're talking about the middle of the rush hour. This thing's been going on now for quite a while. 85 northbound, what they were doing was diverting traffic off at 985 they weren't even allowing any more traffic so they're just now picking up those cones and getting ready to reopen everything and i've been following them towing this plane on 985 northbound and it looks like what they're going to do in fact they're getting off at buford drive and they're probably going to take buford drive south and go right back to the airport this thing is going to get towed right back to the airport in the meantime 985 northbound past I-85, still plenty of activity, even though they are reopening these lanes. Continue to use I-85 North. Take that to Highway 20. That's your easiest alternate. It's Buford Drive. It'll get you right back to 85 North. A lot of folks have already used Buford Highway, Satellite Boulevard, even Peachtree Industrial. So it's a full house there. Now it's the slow tow process. Here it is on 985 exiting at Buford Drive, and they're going to have quite the escort to get this plane back to Briscoe Field. But in the meantime, still quite a headache for folks trying to travel up into Gwinnett County. Guys, back to you. Yeah, good news here. No one was injured there. Crash, thanks for being on top of that story for us tonight. We're following some other breaking